question says in glycosidic linkage yes very important again joins a nitrogenous base with okay simply discuss the structure of a polynucleotide with all of you we'll understand it quickly structure of nucleotide okay you have to understand that there are three major components the first one is a pentose sugar pentose sugar the second one is a nitrogenous base and the third one is nothing but a phosphate group right that is h3po4 okay this is our phosphate now using these components i'll be drawing up a nucleotide for you so here is the pentose sugar now while we are talking about the position of the second and third carbon in the case of rna what do we observe in case of rna we see there is the presence of oh at the second carbon also and at the third carbon also okay but in case of dna there is the presence of only single oh and that will be present at the third carbon okay so one oxygen is gone that is why we are calling it as deoxy okay ribose sugar it is but it is deoxy now because one oxygen is gone over here okay so this is the first position right and this is our first component that is the pentose sugar and this is its fifth carbon over here okay this is the first carbon but for you the first component is the pentose sugar okay now the second one we speak of that is the nitrogenous base now the positioning of this nitrogenous base because we have this is the raw structure we have to attach the next part on this only so that will be on the first carbon okay okay now this base can be adenine or guanine or thymine or cytosine not uracil because here we are speaking of dna okay so the position of this very nitrogenous base will be the first carbon of our pentose sugar okay so this is the first carbon here will be the presence of the nitrogenous base okay now it will not simply attach just like that it has to form a bond okay and that bond is basically the n glycosidic bond okay i am simply writing glycosidic bond over here or it is also called as the n glycosidic linkage okay anything can be asked in the question n glycosidic linkage will help the attachment of the nitrogenous base to the first carbon of the pentose sugar okay clear with this now the third component of our nucleotide is a phosphate group okay and which position will it acquire can you tell me in the comment box which position will it acquire the phosphate group that will be the last position that is the fifth carbon over there okay so this is the first carbon second carbon third carbon fourth carbon and fifth carbon is in the form of this extended arm and here we'll simply make a bond right and here will be the attachment of this phosphate group okay this phosphate group is present over here now this bond is named as the phosphoester bond okay you have been given phosphodiester because when there will be the attachment of two phosphates when this nucleotide will attach to the next one then there will be the formation of two phosphoester bonds and then it will become phosphodiester okay but if we have to name this one we will simply name it as phosphoester bond okay now how the ester bond is formed organic chemistry you know better than me right that is when water is released okay so what we see over here there is the presence of ch2oh okay okay i'm writing it this way because over here we have the presence of h3po4 right that is the phosphate group now there will be the presence of h3po4 right now the water will be released from here h from this and the water is released and when the water is released the ester bond is formed and because phosphate group is attaching we call it as the phosphoester bond what is the bond between phosphate called this is what i am saying that is the phosphoester bond okay right now if we are uh, taking up acha let's say the phosphate group is not attached 
okay if we only talk about the first two in this case it will be called as a nucleoside okay you can see in this particular representation this is the whole structure of a nucleotide this is the pentose sugar this is the nitrogenous base that is adenine over here and this is our phosphate group but this is the nucleotide if i say this phosphate group is removed okay or it is it hasn't been attached yet it is called as a nucleoside in that case nucleoside okay and as soon as nucleoside attaches to a phosphate group it becomes a nucleotide okay so over here it will become a nucleotide you have to keep this thing in mind okay is this clear with everyone